Thanks, everyone. So, Novak, uh, tough one today. Uh, were you impressed by the way Francis competed out there? I was um, impressed with the way he was competing. Uh, he served very well, um, and he fought. He fought hard. I thought he played. We both played on a pretty high level. I mean, he. Uh, pushed me to the very limit. I think uh, second and the third set were really super close, and I was fortunate to get the two sets to one lead. Obviously, in the fourth, I had more chances and kind of capitalized on them uh, midway through the fourth set. Um, but just overall, uh, <clears throat> challenging conditions. I think it was very hot. Uh, we had the long exchanges. Uh, was difficult for me to to kind of break his back end. I was trying to <clears throat> work around his back end and, and kind of penetrate through the court there and open him up, but he wasn't giving me anything. I mean, his back end was very solid, very consistent, not too many errors. Um, he's very quick player, so it's, you know, it's unpredictable what comes next. Um, yeah, it was, uh, was a tough match, and I'm, I'm really glad to you know, overcome such, uh, such a battle. There were moments there where you looked oh, you looked uncomfortable. Is that anything with you not being comfortable today, or was that him making you uncomfortable? Well, I mean, look, you know, it was uh, a very close match, and of course, I was uh, at times, um, you know, not feeling uh, <clears throat> my timing as as well as I normally am. So, uh, and credit to him, I think he has managed to, to come out with a great uh, performance and quality of tennis, and he, he put me in, um, in a difficult spot. Um, I had my chances early in the second set. You know, if I broke him there, you know, maybe the, the course of the match would be different. But again, um, he was holding his serve very well. I was not really using my breakpoint chances very well. Um, at times, I was too passive. Uh, just wasn't the feeling. wasn't feeling the ball today as as, as well as I normally do. But uh, again, credit to him for for forcing me to 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 feel uncomfortable. Anyone else in the room? He, he seemed to have a few issues with some of the line calls, the automatic line calls. How do you feel about the whole automatic system, and what did you make of that today? That I answered that on the last press conference. I think it's. It's good to have the the automatic line uh, line call system. I understand that we have a certain tradition and in, in, in the history of sport and having line judges. And as I said in the previous conference, uh, uh, I'm all for a unique experience for every single person who is on the court and in the organization. And we have a lot of volunteers around the world. So I understand that it's... Uh, it's taking away, in a way, the, the experience and the jobs for many line umpires. But on the other, on the other hand, I think that's that's something that is inevitable for the future of, of tennis. I, I I would I'm in favor of that particular thing. Of course, I would keep the ball ball kids there, but line line calls. I would I would support the technology. Two more in the room. Uh, you uh, talked about the speed of the court on Rod Laver Arena. Can you just expand on that a little more and? Do you, does that does this speed help your game or suit you? If I serve well, it does help me, but um, it is definitely more suitable to big service. I think uh, I, I'm not sure what is the reason why he keeps on getting faster and faster in terms of the speed of the court each year. But I mean, this is the fastest that it has ever been, and I, I mean, it's not only my opinion. I've been talking to a lot of players. Um, so I mean, you know, you, you just have to serve well. I mean, it's, you know, you can play, you can win a lot of free points there, but um, at the same time, you know, if you if you face a big server, it's huge pressure because you know if he goes comfortably through his games, I mean, I'm going to play a, or maybe Opelka next round or Fritz again, big server. So uh, you know, potentially Raonic in fourth. You know, I mean, it's uh, <laughs> you, you need you need um, you need a lot of accuracy on your serves, and, and but at the same time try to pick a side, you know, uh, in in those very rare moments in the set where you can break break those guys. Last one, Craig. Now, I asked this 
question of Serena this afternoon, and I'm curious to see what your response would be. You've met a lot of people, high-profile people in your career. Who have you not met that you'd like to meet, and why? Uh, Michael Jordan. I've, uh, I didn't, I didn't, didn't meet Michael, but he was obviously. I'm not the only one, but he's one of my childhood uh, heroes and people that I was looking up to as, as probably most of this world. Um, yeah, that would that would be really nice. I, I, um, I hear a lot. We have a lot of common friends, and I hear he loves golf, so maybe I can catch him on some of the golf courses in the future. Uh, who else? Um, I don't know. Jim Carrey. I'm, Jim Carrey, I would love to meet. He's very, very interesting. Very interesting guy. He's got his his views of the world are very intriguing to me. So I would love to have a chat with him about that. Okay, we'll move online. First question, Willie with ESPN. Novak, you, you mentioned Opelka and Fritz. Obviously, we don't yet know which one you'll play, but if you could take them individually and describe each of those two guys so we have a preview, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. I've never faced Riley Opelka, uh, obviously uh, tallest tennis player currently playing uh, next to John Isner and Karlovic. And I, I hear Riley is maybe half a centimeter taller than the other guys. Um, I mean, obviously, big serve, quick surface. Um, you know, I gotta be gotta be ready for tie breaks. I gotta be ready for for some missiles coming from his from his end of the court. And you know, it's, I'm never faced him before, so I'm gonna try to do my homework as best as I can to prepare for that match. Um, Taylor Fritz, I've played him a couple of times, but on clay. Um, Obviously, he's he's a better player on hard court. He, he grew up in states playing on hard courts. That's, that's what he loves. Um, also, a big server and he just um, also a bit flashy, unpredictable. Just big forehands and backhands flat. So you, you know, I, I need to stay solid and focused, and you know, obviously wait for my chances.